welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long time since we made videos and whatnot, but there's been reasons for that. So little do you guys know, I'm just going to give you a quick story and then get into what's the surprise, what's next. So I didn't have a license for about five years. So I had to get my license back. So I sold all my bikes. I paid a lot of money to New Jersey to get my license situated. I bought a truck, sold it, bought another truck. And finally, after all this time of being dirt bike list for like six to eight months, I finally got my hands on a dirt bike. Now, it's it's been a uh, struggle looking for what I was trying to get. Because you guys know I loved my, my 2002 CR250. That was like my baby. But I had to get rid of it to make these these changes happen in my life. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you what I brought home. And the work that's going to have to go into it. It's all progress. But we're going to have to do what we got to do to make things happen, right? Are you guys ready? Dun, dun, dun. The 2003 CR250. Now, it is clapped. I'm going to tell you that right now. It is being clapped. Clapped out. But this uh, piston isn't too bad. But the crank, if you look down in here, it's shot. It won't. The crank rod won't move or anything. So, I'm going to tear it all completely apart and build this thing from the ground up. I'm taking it completely apart. Now, I'm not going to be able to take videos of the whole process because it takes time away from the time I need to use to build this thing. I'm trying to get it done very soon. So I've got a bunch of parts that came with it. I got extra cylinders, extra heads. I got three extra heads, two extra cylinders. Radiators look to be in some decent shape. Um, plastics are trash, but we're not going to keep those anyway. We're going to put new plastics on, new seat. Um, and I'm just going to make this bike clean, man. I'm going to make it crispy clean. Came with a... Uh, Platinum pipe, it's in good shape, just has some dirt on it, a little bit of rust, stuff that we can't clean up to get her running. But um, yeah, the, everything's everything's good, all the electronics are good. So the guy who had it before me, he basically um, rebuilt the top end and then the crank went, and when the crank went, it chipped the Nicosil in the cylinder. So there's a new cylinder that doesn't have chipped Nicosil, but the problem with the other cylinder is that there is a screwed up um, stud hole. But it's okay because I have a, you guys saw me do it before. I have hilly coils and time certs. I will fix that all up this way. I have a good top end. I'm going to measure it out, get the piston for it. And then my buddy who was at Qualls and Elsinore, owns the machine shop up there. He's going to see if he can get, rebuild this crank for me. If he can, I'm just going to buy a hot rods crank and throw it in there. So, so far... Let me uh, turn this thing around real quick. So far, what's going to happen is the bike needs tires. It needs a crank. needs a top end done. Got to hone the cylinder. That's going to be another thing. Head's good. I got to put a heli coil or a time cert in one of the jugs. Other than that, it's pretty much just cleaning the bike up and plastics. Plastics, clean the bike up, straighten out the forks and stuff. The handlebars are a little crooked, but... This really isn't that bad, and I bought this bike for 800 bucks, titled and registered. I mean, this thing is, it's a dream to have a 2003 CR250 at a price like that with a title in California. Shit is rare, but I got it, and I'm excited about it, so I'm going to get into it, clean it up. I'm going to start cleaning, tearing it all apart, take the bottom end out, and I'll try and make some little clips here and there for you guys, and, and just post a little bit of daily videos, like... You know, I know you guys have ever seen Cameron Namella on CRs only. He he built a badass two-stroke 2000, I think it was 2003 CR250, just like this one, from the ground up like I'm going to. But thing is, I don't have the time to film it all. So you guys are going to see progress reports like that. You're going to be like, damn, I missed out on what he did there or that. But that's okay. Don't even trip. The main goal is just to see the Brap Life 101 channel out riding having a good time again with this coronavirus and everything that's going on right now in a couple months they said by summer it could be gone might come back in the fall but all i know is i'm just trying to spend my downtime at home building something i'm going to love riding when the time comes and i can ride again so yeah i'm looking forward to it and i hope you guys are too because once this thing is built i've got my own transportation to the track i've got my own cameras my own gopros i don't need anybody's help anymore 
So it's going to be me and whoever wants to ride along, which I'm pretty sure once I start getting out there, they're going to start getting out there again too. So looking forward to it and stay tuned, you guys. For sure, this is going to be a badass build.